Hi everyone, how are you doing? I just want to turn the camera on and do a little what you're doing in the craft room because I have been in here. I am working hard. I have finished the 100 tag project and I am ready to turn it over and get paid. <laughs> so um, I got that out the way. Um, that was interesting and um, probably won't do that again because when it comes to doing projects or work for someone with crafting it just takes away the fun so getting back to the fun let me show you what I have done I showed you guys um, what I have been doing my uh, mini bottle pocket tags I, showed you, I packaged them up I don't know if I showed you that but I packaged them up crepe um, shred in the bottom I made a little tag and then I started looking in my stash and I remember I had these things if you guys remember these, these are from Target. They're wine charms. And I thought, how perfect. I had six. And what a way to get rid of um, some more stuff in your stash. Here they are here. Wine charms. Yeah, from Target. $3. If they're there now or if they come this winter, I'm sure they're going to be um, $5. Because that's how things happen. So, it came with eight, but I can only find six. So, I was happy about that. And I put them on the bottle, and I thought, wow, that really does look fun. Okay, so then you say, what did you do with the other ones? Yeah, I had to think out the box. So I had these from the Dollar Tree. I've had these in my stash. These are keychains. And then I found a sticker sheet that had a circle sticker, and I just put it on top of one. All right, so... It already has the hole, I cut some strings, so same thing going on. Just cute as a button. So those are ready, those are gonna be sold at my craft fair, and I am in the process now of making some for Halloween. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, so that was, I did that. And then I have this little pack of ephemera that's been sitting here forever, and I pulled out this box of cards that I picked up at you know, it may have been, oh, here we go, Home Goods. It was $5.99. I bought this some time ago. But it's Vicki Booten Warm Wishes cards. And I happen to have some of her ephemera. Of course, I didn't have all. I would have loved to have made this little card here. But, again, I just pulled out some ephemera. And um, I'll show you what I made. This is the first one. Okay, this is her card and me pulling out a tag and a sentiment and the 25 and some flowers and created this uh, Christmas card. I put my little sticker on the back and on the inside I just put a little deer. And I'll make an envelope for this. And then the second one that I made looks like this. Same thing. Just kind of making it work. Use a string here. I also took some of my glue and I put it along the string so that that knot doesn't come undone. Uh, I used to do that a long time with glossy accents, but I I have some glossy accent, but I haven't used it in a while. And it's probably, I can see it's, it's thick in there. So it's probably like ready for, is it moving? Oh, it's moving. Okay. I'll, I'll keep it upside down instead. So that's the second card, right? So I'm just randomly uh, making cards. And then the third one, <laughs> I got to show you, I made. oh my God, I'm so, I'm so upset. Okay, so she also had, um, oh, okay, before I show you that, I made two more cards. I had made these uh, following the tutorial from Lyric Lover Crafts. So I had two sheets of paper. I had made some bows and I had two sheets left and I go, just make a, just make some cards. So I used the cut apart and then I cut the strips and then the background is the card. Um, and only thing different here is I added this poinsettia. I just picked these up at Hobby Lobby recently. I was looking for some red ones. I was looking for the red ones that look like this. Okay, they look like that, a more deeper red. Um, I had pulled the center out of them and then I just added in three of the uh, gold balls from, from the Dollar Tree. That makes them look a little bit more festive. So I couldn't find any more of those, so I found these. But they do have a pinkishness to them. So the two here were probably the most red that I can find. So 
there's that card there. And on the inside, I just did the same um, oval shape to put the writing and then use a sticker. And then this one, same thing. And this, I added some of these punch. This is from the Martha Stewart punch, some of the greenery and a little sleigh with presents. So same thing, I need to make envelopes for these four cards. So the cards are coming along. Um, I pulled out from the box. I wanted to jazz up this card. And I had an idea. So the first thing I did was I took some uh, gems, some red flatback pearls, and I just enhanced some of the berries that are around the reef. So I did that on these three. And then I said, oh, it'd be fun to hot glue this um, poinsettia with pine cones. But this dye, pine cone dye, I guess I need to emboss it because you cannot see the look of the pine cone. So I took some gold thread and wrapped it around and it's like, eh. So I then said, plan B, just go ahead and find a pine cone dye and order it. And I did that from Allie. And when I got it, look at this thing, it's huge. I, you know, I don't know centimeters. I could have sworn this was tiny, but it's not. So back to the drawing board we go. Um, I'm just gonna put the uh, poinsettia right there. The other ones I picked up from Hobby Lobby, look, but they're so glittery. I don't like that glittery. So I think I found in my stash another red poinsettia. It's huge. So we'll see. We're still playing around with this because we want to use these cards as well because the sentiment is already there, right? So, so then that will conclude the cards that I have been trying to make. Then... I looked at my drawer, uh, Halloween drawer, because I'm kind of slowly putting away the Christmas and kind of sort of pulling out the Halloween. And I do want to let you guys know, because I did let uh, Louisa know that I'm not going to be able to uh, do the Halloween swap, the annual Halloween swap that we always do. I'm so sad, so I let her know this morning, because I'm going to have some surgery, you guys. Can you believe it? Ugh. This will be twice in my life. Um, in October. So I, I'm, I, right now my focus need to be, I need to keep it light and not stressful. I need to make sure everything is right with the funds. Everything is right with the food. Everything is right with the bills. Um, I do want to do a few Halloween things. So I'm going to do those, but I'm not going to do a swap because um, I'm going to be out of commission. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. Um, but when I started pulling out things out of my Halloween drawer... Do you remember these? Let me put the lid back on it. Wood candy corn tags from uh, Target. They were $1. So I kind of thought, oh my God, what can I do with these? What can I do with these? Because they just look so plain, right? So I'm trying to think out the box. I'm trying to think out the box. And I thought out the box. <laughs> And this is what I came up with. This cool little shaker. Isn't that fun? Um, the sequence does move. Right? And, um, <clears throat> there we go. Anyway, I stuck a uh, bat on the inside and a um, sequence witch on a broom on the inside and then this is a sticker and I'm basically just using that sticker beware came from this sheet here right just trying to use up what I have and then just pulled out some um when I was going through my Halloween boxes I did a lot of purging of stuff and then I pulled it back out today and did a little bit more organizing like put everything Tim Holtz in a box up in the closet and put everything that I'm going to use down. So here's some uh, a mix of sequence that I kind of put in here, kind of made sure nothing was uh, too thick. And this, um, what is this uh, adhesive that I'm using is just the strips that I get from Spellbinders, right? These little long skinny strips. So I thought we would go ahead and make one. Okay, so this is what I've learned. There is a piece of, I don't know what, on the inside, right? 
I don't know. It's like, what is that? And then the hole from the tag is still existing. So this is my protege. I probably could uh, use a crocodile, maybe. Let's see. Let's see, because I'm going to make one, but I want to see if this will work. Um, if I was to say I don't want to risk it, and I don't think it wants to get in there, so we'll just leave it like that. So then the second one I'm going to make, I'm going to show you what I'm going to uh, do. So let's leave this here. I have this sequence, but I think I want to use some other stuff to put inside. So... What I have here, let's kind of get this like this, is I just uh, put some tape on the back of it and pressed it down to some card stock. This is the black, what the heck? The black uh, Tim Holtz um, card stock that I found at Joanne some time ago. So I'm just going to cut around it, cut close to it. This way, the background will be black. The hole is semi-covered because it's full of glue. <laughs> and I can just uh, maybe tie the string on the back. Tape it on the back, something like that. this so I uh, went with my daughter this weekend to the nail shop and you can see I got my nails done I haven't had them done in years so it's getting used to them they're kind of short you can barely see them because I do a lot of uh, typing at work and uh, long nails I don't know how young girls do it with the long super long nails they type on their tips of their fingers and I don't have time for that I need to get documents out emails out quickly <laughs> so let's go ahead and get this cut away it's so muggy today I don't know what's going on here in the Pacific Northwest but it is muggy see so now it's black right so that's even better and then if I did do a string these candy corns came with this orange string I could probably do something like this and this and then maybe tape something on the back right so that's my thought but to get started with this let's go ahead and I pulled out another sticker sheet from a paper collection um, which is this one here this is Halloween Town by uh, by who Echo Park yes Okay, so I'm going to use the bats from here. I kind of like the bats because of the white up top there. So we'll pull out this bat. And we will put him here. Like so. And then there is another one. I don't, yeah, I don't want to do a ghost well I could do a ghost but I don't think it'll show so let's just go with another bat let's find the next smallest one which will be this one here or you could even do a um, spider web maybe from like the corner but that's okay I want to save that for something else we'll just do another bat and we'll put that one like right we can put them like this. There we go. Okay. So now we're going to get our adhesive. And I'm going to start at the bottom. Right where, uh, not at the turn, but more at the square, at the flat part. And I'm just going to press it down really, really close to the bottom. I'm going to turn it and keep it going up the sides. I think I need about three of these strips. I'm going to make sure those are close together. I'm going to keep on turning. I look like I'm going to go over his wing, which is fine. And I'm going to turn. And 
and turn. And turn. Okay, let's make sure we get over. There we go. Okay, and then three pieces. Like I, I thought it took about three. And then, okay, make sure you join those together really closely. Keep pressing, pressing. And then this will just come straight down like so. Okay, so now let's cut off that piece there. Put her back on the sheet. Okay, then I'm gonna use my bone folder and I'm just gonna press it down. I mean, I really want it to stay I don't want the sequence falling out. I got a couple of Christmas shakers that weren't successful. I guess I didn't do a good job. Um, so I want these to stay because I think these are fun. I think they'll be cute on packages, these tags. Okay, just like so. Okay, so. The bats are down in place. And then you need a piece of acetate. I think, look at me, I'm Irish using my little thing that you gave me. <laughs> um, four by two and a half. Basically, I just got a piece that's bigger than the tag. That's all you need. So I measured it and then when I went there, I cut it out and it's a little big, but that's fine. And I'm using this thin, um, uh, ad adhesive because that's probably about the thickness of the candy corn It's about the same thickness because you don't want the candy corn top uh, taller than the um, adhesive and it's probably maybe a little tall but that's okay let me um let's see a little piece of this adhesive on the edge here let me just kind of cut that around there we go okay so now I want to add, I'm just going to put this on top like that. I want to add some sequins. And I was going to do this one, but since I already have one that has um, sequins, I want to try one with some of these things. What are these called again? Um, God, I can't think of them. Anyway, I have them in Magic Spell, Hocus Pocus, Under a Spell, Nightmare, and Happy Jacks. And then there's some other ones. But this, these here have these little crystal things. Look, they, they all cluster. And I think it's going to be too tall for uh, to put into the shaker. So I think I'm going to stick with um, these two here. Because I like that black and white. On this spell. So let's do this. I'm going to turn her over. We're going to add some of this stuff. I'm going to just kind of spread it with my hand because I want to make sure that it separates. I think that it's going to look fun. Okay. And then let's get a few of the oh god, these nails. A few of the other things. I'm going to stir that up because this has some yellow stars in it. That'd be fun. I don't want too much orange. And you know, maybe, yeah, let's, let's keep going. Okay, get you in here. I don't have any uh, before me seed beads because I know seed beads would just run through here really fast. But let's see, um, I'm gonna shake this up and try to get some of the smaller sequences that are in here not the big ones like there's some small ones these purple ones and that winter green one oh here's some silver there's a good one um some more purple I don't want to put a bat in there because there's already two flying around. Okay. Let's see what 
else we got in here. Maybe one pumpkin. Maybe one of those, maybe two of those. Um, I really kind of picked through, through this and try to get all of the smaller ones out. I think I need to go through. I, all the sequins I have is like super big. Um, I think early in the day, that's what we bought, big se sequins. And then <laughs> all of a sudden it's like, oh, wow, it comes in different sizes. Oh, wow. So now there's, you know, three millimeter, four millimeter, six millimeter, eight millimeter. It's crazy. Okay. So I think I want some more. Let's see. Let's open up some of this magic spell. Just want to make sure it lays flat. That's the key. Look at these two stuck together. Can't have none of that. So you can't go. If you're going to stick together, you can't go. Okay. Try to get some of this purple in here. Okay. So I'm just going to try to make sure that is flat. Okay. And then I'm going to carefully... This acetate is from Michaels. I bought it a long time ago, and it does have a film on it. So we're going to figure out what side has the film by poking the corner. And once it lifts, that'll let me know. There's the film on that side. Okay, so we'll get rid of the film. And then we will put this to the side because we're going to take this tape off. And we're going to carefully take this tape off and try not to uh, let the sequence touch it. Let's lay this down here. I want everybody to have their own space and just lay down. What is this? Okay. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to hold it because I don't want it to move as I pick this off. Okay, so you're going to take off your three. Okay. And then this side here. Okay. Let me just do this so I can remove my hand. Ugh. I just want to make sure everything is on the inside. Nothing touching this tape. Good gravy. And let me not breathe too hard because <laughs> I'll blow the, blow the sequence out of the shaker. Okay, so then I have my acetate. And I'm going to place my acetate over the shaker, making sure I'm covering all sides. So I got this side, this side, and this side. And then I thought, wow, you can see the, um, the adhesive on the inside. But there may be a way. I may have another idea to cover that up. We'll see. So again, I'm going to make sure this is like stuck down forever. Okay, then I have a sticker that I want to put on it. And it's going to be, as soon as I get it off of here, goodness, everything is sticking to it, is this 31 sticker. So I'm going to stick this here until I uh, take, I want to cut off the acetate and then I want to see how the sequence is going to land. So I'm just going to turn this over. And I'm pressing it down as I uh, begin to cut. I'm just going to lean it up against here and cut this acetate off. And again, I am pressing as I turn. Okay. 
we'll get that piece out the way. And now on the back of this one is black as opposed to the wooden. So uh, get that off. That off. I can't tell is there any more left. Oops. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, so what I want to put on this one um, was this 31, but look how big that is. That's going to like cover it up too much. So I think there's a smaller one here. Um, let's see. What about that? Ugh, it's like tiny, tiny. What about this 31? No, I don't like that either. What about this here? Let's see. Let's do some cosmetic tree. Cut that down some. There we go. Oh my God, yes. So you got the bats flying, you got the sequence in there. It's kind of sort of woven. If it had some seed beads, it would help it along. Plus I probably got it on there so damn tight. <laughs> Let's pop a hole in there to get some air in there. There we go. So I thought that was a fun project to make. Like I said, I think um, I'm gonna put the string on the back so that it will hang from something like so, kind of look like that. And you can hang it from if you have a Halloween tree you keep at your desk, which I do, or you can just hang it from a gift bag. And I thought that would be cute too. So if you have these bad boys, go ahead and pull them out. They are the wood tags, four tags in a bag from the, the uh, bullseye spot at Target. And go ahead and make you a few of them. So I appreciate you watching, you guys. I'll keep you posted uh, as things get closer. But I'm sure I'll be, um, my recovery will be quick. And uh, hopefully I'll be back with you guys. I'll probably be on the Christmas trail by then, right? Making um, some uh, Christmas projects. Thanks again for watching and do have a great day. Bye now.